Hi, my name is Ju Wen Yang. I am a professor of physics at American River College. Hi, my name is Jia Yi Yang. I'm a professor of New Media Art at American River College. We're here to give you an example of how optics and art are combined into a work of art that addresses issues of consumption in our society. Let me first introduce one of the properties of light. Light travels in a straight line. On the wall. The shadow keeps the same shape, but the size is bigger is an evidence of this property. The principle of the fact that light travels in a straight line is used in cameras, and a pinhole camera is an example of a basic camera. If we place an object in front of a pinhole camera, the light reflected each point on the object will only hit on one point on the back wall in the camera. And an image eventually will be formed. This phenomena was, was discovered before the invention of photography and was known as the camera obscura. Do you notice the image on the back wall is inversed? Now let's talk about the inverse of image. If we put the letter L in between our eyes and the pinhole camera, the left part of L will be projected onto the right of the back wall and the bottom part of L will be projected onto the top of the black wall. The image on the back wall is inversed laterally and vertically. With this understanding, we would like to show you a room size camera obscura. Walking into the camera obscura, you see activities such as cars driving by. Viewers become observers of consumption taking place. This artwork serves as a reminder of how much, as a society, we purchase and consume goods in excess of our basic needs. 